Hi, I'm Denise Hunt. Ordeal over. Extradited DJ Busy signaled back home after doing time in a U.S. prison. In his first interview since returning, Busy talks about extradition, KD Knight, dropping weight, losing his hair, why he thinks the music is scary and sting. Is he in? Busy signal back in the studio and among friends after his past collided with the present six months ago and turned his life upside down. Naki had a bird near Anthony from 2002, the exact date of the first, you know, the underlying offense from, from then time. I carry mean, this thing at this weight, yeah, you know. By my brain already in a jail mentally for the decade. What Rihanna Gordon calls an immature mistake in 2002 finally caught up with him last May. Gordon skipped bail on several cocaine related charges before finding fame and fortune as the DJ busy signal. In terms of regretting it or in terms of being proud of it is like it's a mix between both. Can me leave, come name busy signal, come make a life here. You know, in a hard place, as you know, in Jamaica, for getting a music business and get recognized to a level, it's like it's very hard. And then now, me leaving and looking at the system, from the system point of view, it's like, oh, I'm guilty, I'm fled. Detained in the UK, sent back to Jamaica, sought by the feds, things are looking bleak for busy until lawyer Katie Knight steps into the picture. I'm the lyrical youngster. Mr. Knight come to me, sir, and say, well, Mr. Gordon, um, you know, I knew about the situation in terms of the extradition, law situation. The best thing you can do is waive your rights. If you waive your rights, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. It loves to be straightforward and blunt. Take your time, think about it, and let me, Mr. Mino, have to think, Mr. Knight, I want waive my rights now. So him goes a boom and him work out to my work work out. We have rights and everything. It was just a failure to appear. He explained everything to me. So that was the moment of ray of light where God sent me figure link up with KD Knight, my management team, Charmy and figure link up with KD Knight. For KD Knight even accept it. That's even an honor. How relieved were you? It. Very relieved. Made us feel like semi free, even though we still in a custody in a half a tree, then them transfer me to GP. Katie Knight's on board, but GP is overcrowded and awful. It's tough adjusting. Come in their jail, the chink them are feed by me, me, me frustrated, me, me just in myself, I said, why, John, with this thing, why, me just want it for over. So you still had your fears? I still had fears. I and still had fears. And I worried, you know, as a human being. Were you still, depressed? Very depressed. I got kids, Anthony, you know. When I have to talk from, from the phone to my opinion, the man them something there and I said, why? I even when 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 to get visit, me never would have want my opinion to come visit car. See them, see them father. Like, yeah, look on your your father like this. You know, behind bars and I talk to some big screen or something and me never even want the kids to come visit with us see that level. And more humiliation to come when he's finally extradited. Shuckers. Seeing hand plus foot, plus round my waist, seat belt put on, private jet. You know, we know about the, this whole thing, we know, we know the last last person who had private jet pick up in a Jamaica. We know and we hear everything, you know, news. You know, we see the thing is in, I mean, the internet, you can check and see what's going on. And when we see the private jet and the treatment and the, and the way it's it set up, it was humiliating. I mean, it was, it was devastating. In the U.S., Busy could be locked up for 10 years if the prosecution gets its way. You know, I feel like I can't, you know, I feel like I'm up myself. I don't know if I can say that, I will have to go fix that. But you know, I feel like I want to urinate up myself, or you know, I feel like I want to defecate up the courthouse. That can say? You're terrified. Yeah, terrified. You know, and I mean, zero to 10 years, the judge have a right to go anywhere he want to go. He can say zero, or he can say what we don't want here. You know, I mean, then I may say to myself, I shake, you know, I tremble. This is the first thing about it was, you know, the first thing I read off at the top of the paper. 
first thing with the prosecutor. We, well, Your Honor, today we have here, you know, Mr. Gordon versus the United States of America. That alone make you feel like, say, let me know, this I hate this. But Judge Donovan Frank balances this is crime with his positives, taking into account the supportive parents and three brothers who are teachers. He likes the lines of now go jail again. So we now go to jail again. Oh, no. Even a video commissioned by the defense gets a sympathetic viewing. Bissy says Frank has a heart. The sentence alight six months, including time served, and a thirty thousand US dollar fine. He said, Thank God we can at the knees and then the tears came. You know? I'm not cry regular, Anton. Me not a cryer. I'm not a complainer. He's not a cry, I mean, like one of them sad, like emotional. I'm a masculine gender, but me have tears in me and me have emotions. You know, it just bursts out. But he'll have to do a further two months in Minnesota's Sherburne County Jail. And for starters, he can't adjust to jail food. Me a vegetarian. See, me not eat certain things every day. On my tray, meatballs, um, pork. Strips, meatballs, turkey strips, ham strips, pork, meatballs. Me can't do that. So I guess it's obvious. Say, I have to survive with oranges. I um, have to survive with. Sometimes if the lettuce you not know, involved with the meat and the pork, we can get the lettuce and get the like, iron. That's still not protein. So you're pretty hungry. Very hungry. See, so I go to boom and I deal with the salting crackers them and I deal with the orange whenever I get them. His weight down to 136 pounds, he needs medical assistance after fainting twice. The DJ also starts losing his hair, which he blamed on the heavily chlorinated water. This was him just weeks before cutting his hair. A quick dim is me have to cut off my hair. And I gotta cut my hair, you know. You know, I've been seeing now we're the artist hairstyle in the world, not just Jamaica. You know, and the, the chlorine mash up my ear. I have to cut it off, and I mean, you know, it's my skin. There are fights, but busy stays out of trouble. Being Jamaican, he says, was a deterrent to others. Were there instances where you felt afraid, that you felt there was some threat to your personal safety, that the other inmates, you know, you know beat people up? Other inmates afraid of me. Other inmates afraid of me. Why? Jamaican. You would have never seen me call me friends to be like that. A level was there where inmates more fear me because I said Jamaican. Maximum facility. Because, as I say, them, nobody, if you as an inmate want to talk about your charge to another inmate, that's okay. But the guards can't do it. I'm busy, is not a chatterbox, so me just better video stay so. And we never gonna feel again. He reads, does puzzles, watches TV, sticks to himself. His single cells. I got my own cell, which brought me in my own cell. Bathroom, in my cell if I want use the bathroom, whatever. If my belly feel, I want to use the bathroom. There's a bathroom there, I can use the bathroom by myself. Nobody else in my cell. And people left you alone? And people don't, people don't even bother me. Sometimes people heal me and everything. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? You know, you just heal them back. Sometimes I never want to touch people because there was a lot of different chicken pox passing around. You have a lot of different people. Are you heroin and needles? You see these things going. Yeah, man. So you see these things. So it's like, it's like, it's like a no talking, no contact in terms of touching and them something. There. That's something. It's tricky with that something. Because I'm a boy a cleaner than peroxide. You know? yeah, stop. He isn't taking any chances. Sentence completed, busy signal returns to the island almost immediately. Happy to be back home, but not much happening. Nothing is here. Nothing is here right now in terms of music. Nothing, no music is here. And that's not just saying that knowing my type of music and knowing the step that I took in me. That's just, Anthony, if you listen to music, and you, you know music, Anthony. You know, ER, Jamaica, who don't know music? No music, no there in Jamaica right now. You know, scary stuff is in Jamaica right now. You know, you know things are probably, you know, I'm putting them there and everything. You know, you probably can't control so much where your kids here and everything. I'm not sorry for myself or nothing, but I feel it for the younger generation. I feel it for the people in them. Bolt to carry Jamaica. See, bolt to carry Jamaica, and this is a worldwide level. That little, you can't carry Jamaica in a Jamaica. When you said scary, Jamaica, when you said scary stuff, you're referring to Tommy Lee's music. Who is that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who names him. I don't know. 
We don't know who names him. The new big DJ in Jamaica. Man, he's, he's going to be at Sting. You're going to see him at Sting. Man, if you're at Sting. Why is that? What is that? Tommy Lee. I lie. Yeah. I mean, I just got here, so you know, I mean, thanks for the update, I don't know. What he does know is that he's been extremely lucky. Not many second chances going. Me just want to come, come represent, represent my slice. I was on a very good path. And I'm going to just continue that path with more, you know, additional positiveness to it. But I would not try, I would be a worker. And I shall not have fire for the one Lucifer. 